What is going on my super sandwiches? Rhyme style here and today I actually have no face cam which will be normally down here because well I have to take up all of the space I have here for this collection I just purchased. First and foremost, I want to say a big shout out to Rob. Uh, Rob actually reached out to me on Twitter a couple of weeks ago now, but I want to say like two weeks ago. I was like, hey yo, you want to buy my collection? I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? And I didn't realize that when he messaged me, he, he was going to give me a lot of cards. I was thinking it was going to be like a binder. No, we got one binder. We got two binders. We got three you get the picture there's actually two more on the ground and also got a, a bunch of tins and everything oh my god these are all just hollows too by the way these are all like the hits the actual uh, uncommons or i guess uh, i should say commons because i'm thinking too much of pokemon the commons non hollows there's a whole bunch of those which i'm not going to go over just because it would literally take forever so first and foremost this is what kind of like stood out to me the most when i saw this i'm like you know what i at least want this because this is actually a seal as you can see it still has the original seal i don't know if you can there you go so that's the original sealed. This is a sealed, unlimited version of the Yugi starter deck from 2002? 2002. 2002. Um, and I actually already had one of these, but the box was damaged. But this is in basically pretty much flawless condition with the exception of like one little dent on the corner down here. This is awesome right here. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you real quick this little box of promo cards. I'm not going to go over all these because literally it would take three years to <laughs> go through all these cards. But these are all basically just promo cards from various... Uh, collections that the collection boxes like the, the legendary collection stuff like that this is all this is there's also a bunch of like loose holes in here as well um actually i think there's a i start over here somewhere there is a uh where'd it go oh yeah there's an ultimate rare version of uh dark magician right there hopefully this actually does not end up being too annoying for the camera because i've never done it like this before like i usually am used to just having you know everything in front of me but for the nature of this i figure you know what i'm just gonna go through the binder I'm going to try to go a little bit fast because I want you guys to basically see uh, what's in this. And then if you see anything that you know, because again, there's going to be a lot of new stuff in here that I just don't know about. Let me know in the comment section below. Hey, yo, Rhyme, that's a hit. Here we go. So <laughs> first things first, these are all just the spell cards. And everything's kind of doubled up. So if you see like uh, a bunch of cards crammed into one little slot, that's because those are actually copies of the same card. So they're not like extra cards in the back that are completely different. They're all basically copies of it. So let's kind of go through this real fast. These are all pendulums. I know nothing about pendulums. I, I can't stress that enough. I know literally nothing about pendulums. When it comes down to pendulums, don't know. Uh, Exus, I'm kind of like learning. Links, I'm completely unaware about. Uh, but everything like sync and below sinks, I'm kind of like okay with. Sinks, uh, to be fair, sinks, I was actually pretty much newbie at just because uh, I didn't really play it. I learned sinks through duelings. <laughs> I know, casual way. Look at that needle worm. It's not the tournament, the tournament one, but the tournament, um, tournament pack one. It's the legendary collection one. There are a lot of basically uh, reprints from this. I did briefly look through this actually before I started recording, just because I wanted to see what was basically inside this. I didn't look at you know what was inside this before I bought it. I was kind of like, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. I had a pretty good price too, at least I think. There's actually a lob mystical elf, but she is a bit damaged as you can see. Um, there are some classics in there. As you can see, there's a LOB unlimited version of Curse of Dragon as well. Um, but oh, also a couple of uh, game promos as well. TFK. TFK. Which one was TFK? The Forbidden Kingdom? Yeah, Forbidden Kingdom. That's on the GameCube. That's actually one that I never played. I was wanting to because it was like, completely different. But it's funny. Uh, at the time, I was going through all the Yu-Gi-Oh games that I wanted to play. Uh, I always just wanted one where it was just normal rules. Because if you guys remember, back in the day... They had a bunch of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh games that were just basically like different rules, like Duels of Rose, for example, which I was used to using in the background in these videos. Duels of Rose ended up becoming one of my favorite, po uh, most of Pokemon, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh games of all time because of like how different it was. But at the time, all I really wanted was just a Yu-Gi-Oh game that had standard rules. Look, this is what I was talking. Let me actually like take out some of these. At least I'll try. These are all going to be the same card. Good lord, how many are in here? This gotta be at least like you know what? Can we even? Yeah, we'll just take a couple out. Like they're literally just the same card crammed in what is this this is uh uh what does it say armor factor pain the imagination drac draco overlord dude i was talking about how like these uh cards are just a giant mouthful sometimes when it comes to their names this is exactly one of those we got fiends mirror odd eyes gravity dragon i don't know nothing about odd eyes oh i recognize this one so check this out ready for this bam dark magician girls uh they're not like the crazy ridiculous ones it's not like magician's force but we got the premium pack one that i've opened on the channel before I don't remember where this is from, but I actually have these all graded, all of them. All of them except for this one, and I don't have this one graded, I don't think. I might. You guys know me, I went through a whole period where I just wanted to collect a bunch of Dark Magician Girl cards, and speaking of which, I don't know where she is, but actually as I was opening uh, one of these boxes, I did find a Maggie Maggie Magician Gal. Actually, no, no, take that back. The Maggie Maggie Magician Girl was in the back of that page, and I took it out to actually get it uh, in a sleeve, but here's a couple other ones 
that well this is actually from a legendary collection i just like the design of these cards so i just like took them out um we have ultimate or crush card virus which isn't that valuable but again you guys know me i like the crush card we also have uh the the jump promo blue eyes white dragon one of the coolest looking ones can it focus better i'm actually using my webcam to record this as opposed to my uh my camera which i usually use for the cards and then we have the non-playable legendary magician of dark and the legendary dragon of white which if you guys remember i pulled this on the channel a couple of months ago uh i don't know what, what i did with the maggie maggie magician gal maybe i put her back in one of the sleeves i guess we'll figure it out as we go through the, these binders all right next binder what we got is this right nope we got the wrong way let's open it this way all right back back at it again let's see what we got uh we got two an ancient gear golem I'll, again a bunch of like look at this this is a ton of like a ton <laughs> a ton of copies you know it's funny uh when rob came up he was uh, when i was talking to him on an email he was like how do you want these do you want me to ship them to you i'm like sure but then i found out he actually lived somewhere close and i'm like you know what i just meet up because you know it'd probably be a lot easier as far as shipping i didn't realize that this man was, li was literally bringing me a house worth of cards like literally <laughs> it was like i want to say like it was one giant plastic container and then also an extra like box with just the commons, which is ridiculous. But there's so much stuff in here. So I need you guys to help me identify some cards. Like it's kind of hard for you guys to tell where so many's come from, like I said, because uh, the camera is not the best camera for opening something like this. But I figure, you know what? I'm going to record it. Let's see how it goes. If the video doesn't look that great in editing, then I'm just not going to release it. Um, but at least I'll try. So if you want to just ever just, you know, pause and see what it is, feel free to do so. If someone just stands up like, hey, yo, Ryan, right there, that giant rat, you want that. It's funny, wasn't giant rat originally rare? I, I swear it was. It's actually a pretty decent card. Uh, Buster Blader, I think none of these are actually Feral Servant, if I remember correctly. Like I said, I did look through some of these. It's actually poppies out real fast. Let's see what we're dealing with. We got uh, DL, what is that, DL1? That is, uh, yeah, DL1. Oh, it is a Feral Servant Buster Blade right there. And then we also have the alternate R1, which I opened a couple weeks ago as well on the channel. Still kind of hurt that that came back as a PSA 8, but it is what it is. Um, what else we got? We got some uh, Black Lesser Soldiers. These, I think these are all the... Yeah, I already checked those. This is uh, none from Invasion of Chaos. Um, Goblin Attack Force. We got Panther Warrior. Gear Freed. Oh, so many are just, just pure nostalgia. Look at that. We got uh, Legendary Fisherman. Big Shield Gardener. Now we're getting into the territory of like, I know, I know a lot of these cards. Uh, we got some Ultra Rare Sangin action. Actually, is that Seeker Rare or is that Ultra Rare? That's actually Seeker Rare. It's from the Legendary Collection. Uh, hopefully this looks a lot better on camera. Dark Ruler Hades. I remember I used to use this back in the day too. Lava Golem. I believe that both this Lava Golem, this is just from the, the Merrick deck, I want to say. Slide this out. Yeah, it's from the Merrick deck. And then, whoa, this is actually a, uh... okay, this is a Retro Pack one. That actually might be worth something, right? <laughs> it's it's weird because like, it's it's holographic, but it's it's like weird holographic. I don't know. Is that is this supposed to is this supposed to look like this? Because you can see it's like barely hollow. It's kind of weird. Or maybe just the lighting in this room. I don't know. I'm gonna set this aside because that actually because I know a retro pack two is definitely kind of a ridiculous pack, dude. Now it makes you want to go through all these extra sleeves and see what what it is because like it's it's kind of ridiculous to know how much stuff is behind this. I feel like if I did a whole video just okay so initially I, I did plan on basically taking everything out and just kind of going through it as like one giant video but honestly that would just take way too long I mean we're, we're like nine minutes in and we're only in the second binder oh god morphin jar I already checked these two these are just regular morphin jars from the uh the gold col what's it called uh it's a, it's a gold one I forgot which set it comes from it's at the tip of my tongue I actually opened before uh but, put this to the side. but literally I wanted to do this all one by one but it just it would take literally forever and i don't want this video to be like three years long i mean i'm sure you guys have a lot of things to do in your day other than just sitting there watch me go through an entire collection of Yu-Gi-Oh cards that might not even look good because of how the setup is so i apologize if this setup if this if this setup sucks but unfortunately this is as good as we can get do we have a champions pack spirit reaper here let's find out we got a legendary collection and we have a gold one huh so no no champion pack i don't know a champion pack worth is worth a couple bucks actually this card i used to hella use spirit reaper back in the day because none of my friends knew how to deal with it Ooh, mystical knight jackal i actually used to love this card too what does this do again it's uh so this is yeah so this is oh this is the frowny guardian one too first edition you're gonna tell your opponent's own monster that is sent to the graveyard but this monster is all about the top of the deck yeah this used to be beast what's the condition of this uh it's a little hurt it's a little hurt it's a little hurt at the top i don't know if you can see that there you go let's put this back in so unfortunately not everything is like in perfect gradable condition but it's still all fairly mint when it comes down to it god there's so much like look at this there's just so many cards back there uh maybe i should oh ooh, i actually missed this 
Maybe I should go through all these. So we got uh, Legendary Collection. We got the gold one. We got uh, Duels Pack. Duels Pack something. I don't remember what that's from. Uh, the Yugi deck one. And then uh, the Duels Pack Yugi. Duels Pack Yugi. That's what it is. And these are all unlimited, unlimited, unlimited. And then the first edition gold one. Nice. Okay. Yo, dog, this is wild. God. <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed. Dude, I I'll never forget. Oh, there's an Honest, too. Let's look at these Honest. I when I got home, after I got these cards, I was just like, I don't know what to do. What is this rarity? What is What does this come from? It's NKRT. I've never seen this before. There's another one. There is a limited edition one. A limited edition one. A uh, gold one and a gold one. Dude, it's ridiculous. Honest is actually usable now, isn't it? Isn't he? Uh, let's keep going. Like, yeah, literally I got home and I was like, I don't know what to do. There's just so much to go through here. It's wild. Hey, it's a Metal Raises Time Wizard. It's an unlimited version of here on the left side. Uh, I'm also trying to read myself because I actually had to turn my lights off for this. If you're wondering why it's so dark, it's just due to the fact that uh, because of how I got my new lights. I got the Elgato lights. Hashtag not sponsored. But uh, I got the new Elgato lights that I love, which are great for gaming, but they're actually terrible for something like this because they're like literally above my desk. And when I turned them on, it was just all glare, 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 and glare. Um, ooh, here's some more of the uh, limited edition 2008 um, packs. We got Serpent Knight, Serpent Knight Dragon. It's a bit hurt. There's a little bend down there. Say, are you from the original, from the actually the reprinted version of Dark Little Stories? It's funny. If you get this game, it's like 600 bucks sealed. If you get the original one, which has the DDS Blue Eyes, speaking of which, Blue Eyes, Exodia, and Dark Magician. Ooh, we got some God cards too. Oh, there's more blue asses over here. How did I miss this? Uh, if you get the the original DDS version, it's like three thousand dollars. It's wild. A sealed sealed copy, of course. This is from uh, this is from a starter deck. I don't know which one. Another one, uh, another one, and a legendary collection, and then another starter deck something. I don't know where that's come from. We also have the ooh, I love the art of this of this uh, dark. There's a bunch of dark magicians over here. Let's, let's take all these, let's take all these out and kind of look through it. Um, I'll try to just like, you know, summarize this real fast. Again, if you see anything that's like ridiculous that I go over, again, I'm really overwhelmed right now. So just please let me know in the comments like, hey, that's a good card too. Because like I said, I, I, I'm, I don't know. I love the art of this card. I kind of wish that uh, it was more valuable, but I guess it's, I guess people didn't care about it as much. Here is a Legendary Collection. Ooh, this is the Evolution deck, Yugi, Dark Magician. There is, oh, there's a, st a starter deck Yugi one right here. Conditions is, is pretty bad in this one. Here is another uh, legendary Yugi deck, Dark Magician. Another one, another one. Legendary Collection, Legendary Collection, and another Evolution, Dark Magician. All right, so whatever. Oh, we got some dark, uh, red eyes as well. Um, let's go ahead and just look through these real fast. I can see that they're kind of beat up. I'm not gonna try to like stick around too much on these. There's another Legendary Collection one down there. Oh, it's a tin one, but it's in bad shape. There's another Legendary Collection, Legendary Collection. Ooh, starter deck Joey, but it's in pretty beat up too. I actually already have one as a PSA 10 for this. Another red eyes from Legend Collection, and then another red eyes. I like this art a lot, actually. I feel like this art is a bit slept on. Let's put this back in. Into this. You know what? I'll put this over here because <laughs> we don't need to cramp them up already more than they are. Okay. <sighs> uh, look at this Xoria set. So these are actually LOB. I'm going to go ahead and assume. I'm just going to take out one of these. I'm going to assume that the ones behind it are all uh, from from alternate uh, versions. They are. So we got the uh, Master Collection one right there. This is from the Yugi Legendary deck, and then this is the gold one. Okay, so I'm not going to look through the other ones in the back just because, like I said, uh, I'm sure it's all the same. We got some God cards. Let's just kind of slip into one of these. Make sure I don't try to damage the back. What's in the back? Okay, it's not that bad. Let's kind of slide into here real fast. So we got uh, a gold Slifer, a Legendary Collection Slifer, and then uh, another Yugi deck, Legendary Yugi deck Slifer. All right, so I'm going to assume that the other ones are all the same. God, I just... I'm sorry. To those who are like, show everything. I'm sorry, man. It, this would literally be like a two hour, three hour long video. <gasps> oh, let's see this. Let's see this. This is a Dual Masters Guide Dark Paladin. And the shape is kind of decent, actually. It's kind of decent. Oh, no, never mind. Now that I take it out of sleeve, it is kind of beat up. So it's not fully near mint. It's definitely more. If this was to get greater, it would probably be like a five or a six. Whatever. Okay. Uh, let's keep going. We got XYZ Dragon Cannon. This is not a Magician's Four Star. It's not. Okay, let's keep going. Remember, I still have like two more binders next to me. Yeah, I have two more untouched binders to go through next to me. Uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Ooh, what's this from? I kind of, I'm always like wondering why this never took off. This is a gold one. Uh, and then this one is, let's see, limited edition. It's probably the Shonen Jump one. Is it? No, it's Duels Pack Kaiba, actually. First edition. 
Uh, let's keep going. Oh my gosh, Magician of Black Chaos relinquished! <gasps> my childhood, except for this. This is this is all post my childhood, but technically it's still technically my childhood. I just didn't actually play with these at the time because I had just stopped playing Yu-Gi-Oh originally. Oh my gosh! If you would have told me that I'm a, I would I would go ever go back in life and get back into like Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon when I was a kid, I'd be like, Nah, there's no way. And I wish I would have been told that because then I would have hung on to my cards better. And I really didn't do that. And then here we are, basically recollecting my entire childhood. Put this over here. All right, next one. Again, uh, if you see anything, please let me know. Like, Ryan, it's a good card. Slide this out. What we got over here? We got some more monsters, I want to say. We got... I actually don't recognize any of these. I don't think I do. It's also kind of hard to read. Because like, the way I'm also set up is I'm, I'm literally sitting down. Uh, because if I stand, my, I would be next to my mic. So he would be able to hear me. Uh, so it's like I'm also kind of limited at what I can see myself. On top of that, without the lights on, it's like this blends in because of the angle. Like I know I'd send you a thousand hands, but because of this, I'm sitting at an angle. The name literally blends in because the name, the uh, the shiny name is actually, um, like it blends in the background. That one I can't even speak because <laughs> I'm so overwhelmed and trying to see everything's here. But yeah, I was thinking about doing more videos like this. Uh, I've done videos where I bought stuff from... Oh, that's a... I have never seen Red Eyes Toon Dragon. He looks dope. Um, I have never ever... I, 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 in the past, I have done. Excuse me. I have done. I have done uh, videos like this where I buy collections from like from Goodwill and stuff. And you guys seem to have liked it a lot. This is my early days in my second channel. Um, and I was thinking about bringing that back. Do you guys want to see me bring something that, like that back where... I'll just purchase random collections from from like Goodwill and then open them up and go through and see if there's any hits. Uh, I stopped doing it. All, all the reason why was because it kind of got expensive to the point where the return wasn't worth it. What I mean by that is, is like it'll like you'll see like blue eyes in the in the thumbnail for for example, and triggered. I hate mass change. Uh, you would see like blue eyes in a thumbnail and it's like I can't tell if this is an LOB one or if this is like a reprint. And then when you buy it, it usually ends up either being a reprint or it's in just horrible shape. And then it's like, well, I just spent a, bu a bunch of money on this for nothing. Is that, uh, it is. Treacherous Trap Hole. Let the triggering begin. Tre Treacherous Trap Hole was released in Duel Links a while back. And to this, to this day, it, it's a terrifying card. I totally use it too. <laughs> Anyways, so if you guys want to see more Duel, uh, more like Goodwill, I guess, lots come back, then if there's enough feedback, I will try to get more. If not, uh, then I guess I'll send myself some money by not doing it. I still, do, I still do keep my eyes on the stuff sometimes, every now and then, but I, I, I control myself fairly well by not buying it, just because, like I said, I know if I buy it, then, uh, by the way, this is why I started taking the cards out, so I can, like, you know, go through them one by one, and not really realize that this will take forever. It took me literally, like, an hour to get these out, because it, since there's so many, and you're trying not to damage the cards in the back, it's, like, very, very annoying to get the cards out. So I was like, you know what, I give up. I'm just going to go through a binder style, and then call it a day. And then hopefully if this works out, we can do something like that in the near future. I mean, usually when I buy stuff from Goodwill, it's in a lot smaller collection. So you, like, I'll get like a binder or two and then that's it. Or I'll get like, you know, a box of cards. Like, for example, I actually bought, this is a good example, actually. I bought this because it looked like it was it was a pretty good uh, thumbnail. But then when I looked at it, it turned out to be just, so this is what I saw originally in a thumbnail. I saw a bunch of Dark Magician Girls. And you couldn't tell because whenever they, they sell cards on Goodwill, they're always in horrible like lighting, they're, speaking of horrible lighting, horrible lighting, and they're not zoomed in. So it's like you see Dark Magician going, and you think, huh, is that like a Magician's Force one or or what? Because you honestly can't, I mean, granted, this is not even holographic, but you can't tell with how bad the photos are over there sometimes. So I'm like, you know what, let's just see what happens. I'll buy these. Turns out all I did was buy a, a legendary deck. What was it? Is that what this is? This is a, uh, yeah, it's a legendary deck. It's a legendary dragon deck. That's what it was or something like that. So yeah, usually I, I try to stay away from Goodwill, but I do keep my eye, eye open for when stuff pops up every now and then, and then I might gamble with it. Like, you know what? I'm going to buy and see what happens. If I lose, whatever. Worst case scenario, we can put out a video on it. Uh, but best case scenario, you, you'll do what happened a couple weeks ago. Wow. A couple months ago now, where when I did buy a, a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, collection from Goodwill, and I ended up getting a first edition Magician's Force Dark Paladin, which is in fantastic shape, too. That alone paid for the entire entire set. So yeah, all right, that is going to be the last page here. So we're going to go ahead and call it. 20 minutes is actually not too bad. Again, I would kind of go over all these cards as well. But again, it's just, there's so much. I mean, here's some of the, the, um, uh, the, what's going on? The, the free promo cards that you get whenever you, well, not really free because you buy it. But the extra promo cards that you get in these, like, boxes. Like, for example, this came from the Legendary Comic Collection, if I remember correctly, right? Oh, no, this is just a Legendary Collection. This is the one that featured, uh, you got, what was it? I forgot what it was. 
whatever I, I think this is the one that you get where you buy the where you get the vintage packs well vintage packs the reprint packs uh, you get like one of each of the original six and then you also get like God of the Sweet Revenge blue eyes and stuff like that and then of course there's a couple other like loose cards over here uh, a couple decks as well so yeah so yeah, thank you, Rob. Uh, again, if you want to see more collection style videos like this in the future, then hit that thumbs up. But other than that, I'd say this is definitely worth the purchase. It was a really, really good deal, and it's definitely going to add on to my collection. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Rhyme Style. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.